Hi everyone, so let's do this problem together. So I'm going to do the top of the fraction and then the bottom. So, and then I'm going to kind of put them together and divide at the end, right? So I'm going to go, let's see, top of the fraction. Yeah, I'll do that here. So negative two and then six minus 10. I'm going to do that. Oh, you know what? I'll just write it out just to show you in case you're stuck. Um, so 6 minus 10, I can say, uh, there's two ways of doing that. I can just directly subtract and I can say I've got $6, I spend 10, I'm now in debt by 4. Or I can change subtraction to blam blam plus negative. It says 6 plus negative 10. 6 positives, 10 negatives makes 4 negatives, right? So either way, that should be negative 4. And we're following PEMDAS, right? So that's why we're doing the things inside the parentheses first. And here I've got 8 minus 5, which is just 3, right? So you should have that much for the first, the top line. Now, next step, remember that you've got to think about PEMDAS. We've got multiplication happening here and here, and then this is like a subtraction in between. So we have to do these multiplications. We're following the order of operations, PEMDAS. Parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract, right? So we're going to multiply negative 2 times negative 4. Negative times negative is positive 8, right? And then we've got to subtract 3 times 3, or, a, or think of it as a negative 3 times positive 3. Or even put turn this subtraction to plus negative, and now it says plus negative 3 times positive 3, which is just like plus negative 9, right? So 8 plus negative 9. Or you could have written 8 minus 9, which is also correct. 8 plus 8, 8 minus 9, whatever. And that makes what? You have $8, you spend $9, you're in debt by 1. Right? So that's having fun with the top. I hope that made sense. Um, and now we'll try the bottom. Feel free to press pause and try the bottom, or you might have already tried it. So I'll, I'll just put them through the bottom then. So we've got, a, a, again, a similar situation. You've got multiplying, subtract, and then multiplying, basically, right? So we've got to multiply first. So think about PEMDAS. You've got to multiply before you subtract. So 6 times negative 3. Positive times negative gives negative, negative 18, right? Then we've got negative 6 times a negative 2, which is simply what? Negative 6 times negative 2 is just plus 12, right? Or you could, if you really want to, you can think of this as, you know, plus negative 6 times negative 2, which is like plus positive 12, but plus 12, same thing, right? So we have negative 18 plus 12. 18 bad guys, 12 good guys, what does that make? A debt of $18 added to $12 cash is a debt of $6, right? So the top became negative 1. The bottom became negative 6. So what I have is negative 1 over negative 6. Now, this is a point where a lot of students struggle. This is a negative over a negative, right? What do you think that makes? Negative over negative. Negative divided by a negative makes a positive. It's actually positive one-sixth, or just one over six. Let me try to explain that a bit. Let me give you an easier example that might make a bit more sense. Give me the answer to this. Like, if you had a negative 10 divided by a positive 2, what's that? And then do negative 10 divided by negative 2. Right, so do both of these, write them down, do them real quick, just to get, because you're going to have something like this on the test, right? You're going it, to, it'll pop up, I promise you. So let's see if we can understand this. So negative 10 over positive 2 gives what? Negative 5, right? Negative 10 over negative 2 gives what? That's a negative over negative, which is positive, right? So that's going to be positive. Fine. Now, the funny thing about negative 10 over negative 2, we can actually write that positive 10 over positive 2. Could you? I mean, that's also positive 5. Same thing, right? So, in this case, like, when you've got a negative over negative, the negatives just kind of go away. Because negative over negative makes positive. And you, you don't have to, 
it doesn't have to equal the the new the the numbers don't the digits don't have to change. You could just say you know negative fifteen over negative three is just like you know fifteen over three. I mean that's correct. You know what I mean? I mean it is five either way, right? Um, Another one to think about that might help make sense is like, think about negative one over negative two. What's that? Negative one over negative two. So that's a negative over negative, which is positive. And now a half is 0 0.5. Think of it as like positive 0 0.5. So the digits changed and that helps our brain. But, but negative over, over negative is just positive. I mean, you could have just written it as, you know, positive 1 over 2. Same thing, right? 